Hey everybody, what's up? This is Liberates, and today we're gonna be doing that cool little transition. And, um, yeah. Let's do it. Alright. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna drag my clip into Vegas, obviously. And then I'm going to, you're gonna get your second clip that you want to, to transition into. So I'll just kind of put that there for now. And, um, <clears throat> Sorry if I pause a little bit. I just got freaking Pizza Hut and a nice little Mountain Dew, and it's amazing. So I have to drink and eat it. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is find a part like towards the end of the clip that you want to like take or like want to use for like it to basically go through. And I know this isn't the um end of the clip but just because this kind of looks good and just for the tutorial sake I'm gonna just use this doorway right when I get like one kill so but um you know just do it at the end of the clip find a good object <laughs> okay so I'm gonna split the clip right there and click the save um snapshot button and just save it as wherever I guess and then drag it down to your timeline your working area and drag this one the where you split it drag it away and then put this in its place and then basically just get rid of the end okay so now what you want to do is you can see it just kind of freezes and it's homo okay so now what you want to do is you want to click on the event pan crop and click on mask and just start masking out the door like a dias or not the door whatever object you want to do I guess whether it be a taco or a burrito, I will not judge. Okay, cool. Now change the mode to negative. And I just got a weird black spot. So let's go feather type. Change it to both and change this to anywhere from like 5 to 6. Actually, no, from like 2 to 5. I'm going to say that's actually bad. I'm going to redo this mask real quick. Do it as like good as you can because it looks really bad if it's uneven. You can remember, you can take advantage of your zooming in and all that good stuff. Wait, too much again. God, I'm so bad at everything. I should just go cut my wrists. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Um, then we're gonna go up there. And there. Okay, you know what? It's not, like, better than the last one, but whatever. Okay, so change it to both. Feather type. No both I do believe I said okay now feather type 2 to 5 and I'll put it to 3 okay now what you want to do is insert another video track and you probably should have done this at the beginning but I'm very forgetful in my old age and drag these to the top and then you're gonna want to take the clip you want to transition to and put it underneath it like that and so basically you just got kind of a little moving thing in the doorway and it already looks pretty cool but that's not a what we want. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna keyframe this to go to the very end, and by the time it gets to the very end, well, first we gotta go to position, huh? By the time it gets to the very end, we would like it to be zoomed in to this door. So just kind of zoom it in till it gets to that doorway. Unproportionalize the zoom in so you can actually get to the door. And like that okay so now it automatically creates keyframe and now what we have is these it's kind of laggy but yeah. oh another thing you want to do is on the um the snapshot right click and go to switches maintain aspect ratio otherwise you're gonna as you saw you get those little weird bars coming inside all right let's switch again and see how it's really slow just to fix that just kind of hold or you don't you yeah hold control and click and then drag it in and I want it to be pretty fast so let's see it's still pretty slow I'm gonna go you don't want this transition to drag out like too long because then it just looks weird so like that and this can be used for many things like I've seen in some montages like these guys have like little spectator cameras going into this room and then there's like a TV and on that TV there's the um, clip plane basically what you do is the same it's the same idea here is you just mask it out and then you um 
switch it to negative and do everything I did here and then you just have your clip playing on a TV and it's just a really cool effect and it's used for a lot of things so whether you're watching this on um silver frag or my channel um just remember to request a tutorial so that I can keep these going because I don't remember like stuff I can do if that makes sense that doesn't make sense okay whatever so I'll show this one more time at the end just so you guys can see it in its non laggy glory and alright I'll see you guys later